Big data. It's big news and getting bigger every day. But just how big is big data? According to IBM, we generate around 2.5 quintillion bytes of data every day. That's 18 zeros. That's nearly 29,000 gigabytes of information every second. To translate that into iPhones, you'd need 226 phones of the 128 gig model just for one second. Given all that information, it's no surprise then that companies, consultants, think tanks, and yes, even universities are looking for ways to make sense of it all, and more importantly, make money from it. The question is, can we get the right answer fast? Keith Carter, visiting senior fellow at NUS Business School, says it's all about turning a mass of unstructured information into actionable intelligence. Actionable intelligence is about having the right ecosystem in place to answer strategic business questions with facts and then deliver results. These days, any marketing department has access to an overwhelming amount of information on consumer behavior. To illustrate, Carter did a little study of his own using his nephew's Facebook account. There were a couple of kids who updated in an eight-month period more than 5,000 times. The highest was more than 11,000 status updates within an eight-month period. Seven out of ten of the top posters were boys, by the way. But even though this next generation is living their life openly on the Internet, the posts only reveal what they are doing. The key to unlocking the value of this information is drilling down and finding out the why. It's about having the right ecosystem in place. Can I have the organization ask the right question, acquire the data that's appropriate to that question, visualize it, and then finally, you have to be able to take action. The organization has to have a person there, the right flow, the right sharing in place in order to take action. In his newly published book on actionable intelligence, Carter outlines four steps to help business cut through the complexity and hype over big data. Quite simply, it's SWOT. Ask a strategic business question, wrangle the data, answer with visualization of who will need the report and how it will be used, and finally, take action. As a former executive at Estee Lauder, Carter has seen the benefit of having actionable intelligence. When the earthquake and tsunami hit Japan in 2011, the first question the CEO asked was, how are our people? Later, he asked how many of the company's products, tracked by stock-keeping units or SKUs, would be impacted by Japanese suppliers. At the middle of the day, he had his answers. We presented to him that more than 10,000 SKUs, my team presented to him, more than 10,000 SKUs would have a problem. More than $500 million of business would be at risk on the same day of the disaster. But only because we had put in place visibility end to end. That's great when you're an MNC with big teams that can put these systems in place. But what about SMEs and entrepreneurs? Carter says they need big data as much, if not more, than the big players. In fact, when we come to making fact-based decisions, the small startup has even more on the line because when they make a mistake, it could kill their company. And it's not just a one-time thing. Ask the strategic question, wrangle the data, answer the question, take action, repeat. As soon as you provide the first answer, then the person who's asking the question will realize, hey, there's a deeper question I have here. And then you'll go and get more, and as a result, make an even better decision. In the future, Carter foresees big data being used for everything from improving healthcare to streamlining taxi services. It all depends on the data users asking the right strategic question. For NUS Business School, I'm Katie Sargent.